Hi, I'm Dr. Murdoch Kalegi, Medical Director of Wellness FX, and we have with us our fitness and nutrition expert and Wellness FX practitioner, Ben Greenfield. In this module, we're going to be talking about the nutrients in our new performance panel, and we're going to be reviewing how those key nutrients can influence athletic and fitness performance. Now, the basic physiology is that muscle needs oxygen to perform at an optimal level. Oxygen is carried throughout our blood in red blood cells, and we can actually measure the content of these red blood cells, the concentration through the hematocrit. Now, the core component of red blood cells is iron. You need iron to form red blood cells. Not all iron is stored in red blood cells, though. When iron is needed, it's called up from another protein called ferritin that holds onto iron before the red blood cells need it. And it's something called your TIBC that measures your capacity to transport iron from ferritin to your red blood cell. Now there are other components in formulating red blood cells, such as B12 and folate, and without these, you cannot form adequate red blood cells. What Ben is gonna help us understand is how by knowing these markers, you can improve your athletic and fitness performance. Probably a, a really good illustration here of, of how something like this, like this works is, um, you know, you're, you're climbing a flight of stairs and you get out of breath much more quickly than you think that you should. Or let's say you're a swimmer, and this will happen to me sometimes, I'll, I'll try and swim as long as I can underwater, and I'm only able to go like 75% of what I would normally be able to do. A lot of times when, when you're dealing with a situation where you feel like you're, you're not adequately utilizing oxygen, there is some type of a deficiency at play with a lot of these things. And you know the, the go-to test for a lot of people is, is iron. I should get my iron measured because I feel like I'm anemic or like I'm not getting enough oxygen. But as Murdoch just went over, there are a lot of other variables here that you can and should actually test if you are experiencing like being tired throughout the day, sucking wind more than you think you should, um, or just experiencing a drop in performance or subpar performance. Um, B12 and folate, uh, basically you're, you're gonna get those from, you know, for example, uh, you know, meat is a perfect example. You can, you can get some of this stuff from, um, from uh, basically like, uh, like algal sources, things of that nature. But B12 and folate are a couple of things that you can test. Um, ferritin, an iron storage protein, uh, that's huge in terms of something that tends to be deficient, especially in athletes who are really beating their bodies up, experiencing a lot of nutrient, nutrient turnover. Um, and something that's super simple to test via a blood ferritin test. Um, you get your finger on the pulse of some of these nutrient variables and, and the ferritin protein here, and you can get a really good picture of whether or not you need to make adjustments, adjustments from, a, from a nutritional standpoint whether you need to introduce something that's going to be rich in, in B12 or folate or ferritin, uh, like a nutrition supplement, and basically find ways that you can specifically target some of the issues that are contributing to you feeling like you aren't getting enough oxygen, you feeling like you're, you're not able to push yourself quite as hard as you normally could, or just feeling a little bit tired throughout the day. Another thing that a lot of people notice when they're able to adjust elements like vitamin B12 is a perfect example, uh, they sleep better. And so that's, that's another thing that you may notice and another issue that you may have if you're deficient in some of these variables in terms of how it fleshes itself out at, from a performance standpoint. So, Well, that's great. I mean, it seems clear that by optimizing our ability to transport oxygen to our muscles, we can overcome various athletic and fitness plateau, plateaus that are often caused by nutritional limitations. So by getting these markers tested, we can surpass those plateaus and reach the next level. Thanks, Ben.